Welcome to this Giftworks video. My name is Steve Faithful, and in this video, I want to show you how you can export and save files from Giftworks Anywhere and then be able to use them on your computer. Sometimes people get confused using Giftworks Anywhere, not really sure where to store their files and how to get them. And so to show you that, I'm going to first start your, uh, by explaining a little bit about the drive storage or the file storage that's used for both your computer and Giftworks Anywhere. On your computer on the left hand side, you'll see this little picture that shows a C drive, and typically, all your computers will have a C drive. Now this applies pretty much to Macintosh, I mean to PC users and not necessarily to Mac users. But Mac users follow a similar paradigm. And so you all, you'll all have a main C drive. Now some of you may also have a D drive and other drives like network drives and things like that, but all of you should have a C drive. Now with this, that's your computer, but GIFWorks Anywhere has other drives. Now there's a G drive, an H drive, and a V drive that all of you will have. A G drive stands for your group drive. It's basically the drive that is, or the storage that is shared by all the users at your organization. Uh, this is where you would store your GIFWorks database or other documents or files that you want everyone to have access to. You all have an H drive as well, or your home drive. It's used for your personal storage, your own personal storage. Uh, so if there were three users at your organization, you each would have your H drive, but they would be your files and your files only. So if you put any files there, no one else at your organization will be able to see them. That's your own personal H drive. And then you'll also have a V drive. A V drive stands for virtual drive. It's a drive that links back to your C drive. The biggest difference is your G and your H drive, those are actual file storage drives that are on GIFWorks Anywhere that you can store files to. But your V drive is not a real drive. It's simply a map or a link back to your local C drive. Now it's important to understand this, especially when we talk about saving files out of GIFWorks Anywhere and wanting to use them on your local computer. And I'll talk about some best practices for doing that in just a moment. So your, eight, your local computer has a C drive and GIFWorks Anywhere has drives as well. Now some of you may, uh, some of you may or may not have a Q drive. If you use QuickBooks, then this is your, where you, the drive that will be used to store your QuickBooks company file. But don't be alarmed if you don't have a Q drive. So in this, I want to take a look at the, those drives that I just mentioned. We're going to use the File Explorer for GiftWorks Anywhere. You notice on the, I'm going to the, my, little quick book, uh, my little GiftWorks Anywhere icon, and I'm going to click on File Explorer for GiftWorks. You might not have as many icons as to choose from as I do, uh, but I'm going to go ahead and click on File Explorer for GiftWorks. And now let me just straighten my screen back out. And I see the File Explorer for GiftWorks. Move this over a little bit to the right. And if I click on my computer, now keep in mind I'm looking at the GiftWorks Anywhere drives, not my local computer drives. But if I see, I'll see my G drive and my H drive, just like I have in the image. Um, and then I also have a Q drive. And then I have this V drive. And if you remember, the V drive is a virtual drive back to my C drive. So my G and my H drive, I have folders and I can store files there. G is for my organization or my group and H is just for me and my personal files. But my V drive is actually, like I said, a link or a virtual link back to my C drive. So when I'm actually looking at the folders here, I'm not looking at folders that are located on the GIFTWorks Anywhere storage, but I'm actually looking at the drives or folders that are located on my computer. So all these folders here exist on my computer. That's gonna be an important part when we talk about how to save and export files out of GIFTWorks Anywhere and, uh, and then get access to them on my computer. Well, let's jump over to GIFWorks Anywhere, and I'm going to sign into the database, and I'm just going to go start with a smart list. I'm going to go to a smart list, and I'll just look at my board members list. And on the left-hand side, I can choose the option to export this list. So I'm going to click on Export. I'm going to say Save to a File. Now, this is an important part because many people, um, and uh, I can understand why they do this, they choose the V drive. Since they want to copy it to their local computer, they use the V drive. Uh, one of the ways in which we encourage people, one of the things that we encourage people not to do is to copy it directly to your V drive. And the reason is because the distance between your computer and the GiftWorks Anywhere servers is probably pretty big. And not uh, certainly understand that the internet travels fast, but when GiftWorks is attempting to save a file, it does so in little bits and pieces and little chunks. And with that, if you save it to that V drive, it's actually attempting to copy it from GiftWorks Anywhere to your local computer, and we've known there to be a lot of challenges or problems with that. And so what we encourage you to do is to first save it to your G or to your H drive. So I'm just gonna click it, I'm just gonna click on my H drive and I'm gonna put it, uh, I'll, I'll just put it in this import files folder. So I'm gonna click on okay and now it's, it's ready to save this file. And I'll just call this my test export. 
my test export and I'm just gonna click on finish and now it's gonna save that file in the H drive so notice I just did not do it directly to my V drive but to my H drive now uh, uh, now if I want, because I'm going to probably want to use this file, I'm going to go over to my H drive. I'm going to use the File Explorer for GIFWorks again. And you'll notice I see this My Test Export file, which is this right there. Now all I'm going to do is, I am going to go down to my V drive, which remember, it's a link back to my local C drive. So all I'm going to do now is copy it, and I'm going to just copy it onto my desktop. So I'm going to copy it, and let me just uh, broaden my picture here a little bit so you can see this. See if I can get it to show up. And so I'm going to just drag it to my desktop. So I'll just take it and literally drag it right onto my desktop. Right there. Let it go. And it's going to now copy to my desktop. And if I move some stuff over, you should be able to see it. And then I'll see it. I see it right there. Um, and so just so you know, I didn't do any smoke and mirrors. I'll delete it. And I'm going to go back to my File Explorer again. Explorer and I will go to my H drive. Oops, I use this window. I'm going to go to my H drive. I'm going to drag it right to my desktop again. And once I do that, I should see it appear in just a moment. And so I, I now copied it down to my desktop. Now I can go just simply double click this and open up an Excel. And I can see the, the Excel file that I just exported from GIFWorks. Uh, so while it does require an additional step, that is to save it to your G or H drive and then copy it down to your V, dri your v drive, which is actually your C drive, um, it'll, actually, um, it'll, uh, it'll actually provide the, uh, a successful transfer uh, of your uh, GIFWorks Anywhere information. Uh, and so uh, I'm going to do the same thing in just a moment. Let me just straighten out my screens a little bit. And I'm going to do the same thing if I go into a donor. And I'm just going to edit this donor. Actually, no, I'm not going to edit it. I'm just going to double-click on this donor. I am going to go to Notes, Tasks, and Files. And in this case, I don't have any files here, but I'm going to go and, and add one. I'm just going to go, and once again, if I wanted to attach a file, um, if I wanted to attach a file to a, to a donor on GIFWorks Anywhere, uh, one of the things I'm going to want to do is go back to my File Explorer. And instead of now going from my computer, from GIFWorks Anywhere to my computer, if I want to save a file to GIFWorks Anywhere, uh, and a good thing I can do is actually, I'll just go back to my desktop. This is my desktop on my C drive. And so I'll just take this license keys file and I'm going to simply drag it up to this import files folder. And it, once I that have it there, now it's copied there. So I've copied it now from my C drive, my local C drive, to my H drive. And I use the V drive, if you remember, that's the virtual drive, which is actually my C drive. So I copied it back to my, to get, I copied it up to GIFWorks Anywhere. And now if I come back to my donor, and I simply say add a file, I can browse. And under this, under this H drive, I have this import files folder. I can simply click on license keys, and I can click on save. And now I've successfully, um, uploaded a file from my computer to GIFWorks Anywhere to be able to do that. Um, if you wanted to go the other way, and you can go ahead and hit Save Copy, and I'll just call this License Keys 2. I could save it back, and once again, in this case, I'm saving it to my H drive in this Import Files. Click on Save. Now it's going to have created it. If I come here, I'll see I have a License Keys 2. And now I can simply drag it back to my desktop, and I'll have my License Keys 2 I'll have my license keys to file. So I hope that gives you a good idea on how to kind of move files back and forth, not only saving and exporting files out of GIFWorks anywhere, but also uploading files into your file storage for your, uh, for your donors uh, using GIFWorks anywhere. Um, I know that it's a little bit different of a paradigm, just not, instead of just using your local computer, you're actually using uh, the file storage that's located on GIFWorks anywhere. So I hope that helps you understand how to, to, to begin to copy and move files um, between your computer and GIFWorks Anywhere or between GIFWorks Anywhere and your computer. Uh, if you need any help, don't be afraid to uh, email us at support at giftworksconnect.com or visit support.giftworksconnect.com. There's also some other videos. Um, if you go to our YouTube channel, which is at youtube.com slash giftworksconnect, under GIFWorks Anywhere, there's actually some other uh, videos as well. Be sure to take a look at them um, in terms of this uh, GIF another video about file storage, moving um, desktop, uh, moving your desktop, moving from files between different locations on your computer, how to get started and signed up, and then a quick overview of GIFWorks Anywhere. So there's a couple of the videos that are available to you. Take some time to look at those, and thanks for watching this video.